Hello and hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. So one interesting thing about Germany that I am interested to know more about is the real estate market and the kind of culture of homeownership in Germany. One of the most surprising things that kind of stick with me about Germany, learning about Germany, is just that homeownership is not something that everybody aspires to have in Germany, I, I guess, from what I understand. It's a little bit weird to me as an American because that is, I guess, part of the standard American dream is to own a home with a white picket fence and a dog and a boy and a girl and a wife or husband or both. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. In Germany, I guess a lot of people just rent their entire life. It's just a different kind of culture over there. And I found this video, five things I wish I knew earlier about German real estate from American guy in Germany. Perfect. I can't be in Germany, so this American guy is in Germany. <laughs> Go check him out. Link down below. Cool channel. If you're new to Germany, I hope this video helps you. Here are five things that I wish I had known about real estate in Germany a long time ago. Okay. And number one is... And there's some big houses behind him. That's just... I just have to pause and say that. This is kind of incredible here, especially as an American. Um, you hear about, oh, the houses are smaller in Europe and you have small plots of land. This is quite a big plot of land here and a huge house, in my opinion. You have to get used to the price. Unless those are two houses. His head's kind of in, in the middle. If that's one house, it's pretty freaking big. Prices. I come from the Midwest where you can pick up a house for right around $250,000. And here in Bavaria, you're talking more like- Hold on, was he talking about the Midwest here in America? I come from the Midwest. One is you have to get used to the prices. I come from the Midwest where you can pick up a house I assume right he means America. $250,000. And here in Bavaria, you're talking more like $1.3 million. So the earlier... Oh my god. Okay, if that thing's $1.3 million, then no wonder it's pretty big. Uh, yes, you... I, I still don't know if he meant Midwest. If he means Midwest here in America, because I live in the Midwest of America. I, this house I'm in, this was... Uh, $95,000, so. I mean, you can spend $250,000. There's, there's a wide range of houses. But let's continue. You get used to the house prices here. And they've gone way up, by the way. I bought this house like five years ago. Now it would be worth probably one fifty. Here, The faster you'll think about financing one. But the second thing to realize about housing in Germany is... You don't hardly have to pay any property taxes at all. So in America, it's go. something like 2% of the value of your property, which can be a lot of money. That can be anywhere between five and let's say 20,000 for an ordinary house. Damn. In Germany, you pay right around 250 to 400 euros per year property tax. So that's really 50 to ordinary Hold house. Hold on. In Germany, you pay right around 200 Guys, I need to do some research real quick. Hold on. Okay. The 2% sounded just a little bit high. And that is a little bit high as far as the, um, the effective property tax rate for the median home value. Or not value, but just... I, I assume this is the... I, I think this is the median rate. 1.1%. So 1%, basically. And I mean, that's a big difference between 1% and 2% because that's double. Let's continue. 50 to 400 euros per year property tax. That's nice, So though. that's really negligible. The third thing that I wish I had known earlier is that's that nice. real estate agents here in Germany make a killing on selling houses. So you have to pay them about 3.5% in Bavaria. That can range all the way up to 7% depending on the state in Germany. And that's money that both you have to pay as well as the person selling the house. So that is a lot of money that you have to consider in the procurement costs. Now the fourth thing that oh, I wish okay. I had known earlier and... Just when they're selling, like to the real estate agent? Okay, now I'm, I'm caught up to speed. 
this is really something I learned. It's similar here in America. Well, I think they typically do like 4% or something, and that's split between the two real estate agents. I think that's what he's talking about. Way too late. You don't need 20% down payment. In America, that is customary. If you don't have 20%, then you often have to find a PMI uh, kind of special insurance in order to be able to buy the house and you pay extra interest. In Germany, you can maybe buy a house with... I actually do have what's called an FHA loan, which here in America is a first homeowner's loan. And it's for people who don't have a... Tw mainly for people who don't have the 20% to put down and you do have to buy, you have to buy what's called mortgage insurance and um, pay a little extra up until you reach 20% equity owned in the house and then you can get that taken off. But it's just a little bit extra. It's really not too bad. Just 0% down. So Wow. The more money you have, obviously, is the better. But don't get stuck on the idea that you need 20%. And finally, the fifth thing 0%. that I really, really wish I had known earlier in this why do people not how are more people not buying houses in germany that seems like an amazing place to buy a house zero percent loans or zero percent down i don't want to make it seem like that's the interest rate zero percent down payment and really low property taxes this is the most important one is find a mortgage broker find a mortgage broker find a mortgage broker hmm. if you go to a bank and every bank in Germany is different, they're gonna have all different parameters. Some banks will say, oh, we want 30% down. Some banks are gonna say, <laughs> who even has that? Especially if these houses are $1 million? No, 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 you can't get a loan because what you pay off in your monthly mortgage can't be more than 35% of what you earn. And yet there'll be banks. I mean, that is kind of typical here in America too. You'll get approved. I mean, that's what caused the housing crisis was loans that, you know, people couldn't, giving out too many loans to people who couldn't afford afford them. So um, they're a little bit more careful now about who they give loans out to and making sure that hopefully you can afford to pay the mortgage. You know, it really shouldn't be. 35% is a pretty high amount of your income, but houses are so ridiculous these days. And if these are million-dollar houses and that's all you have to choose from, then... Yeah, you're going to have to be putting a lot of your income toward that mortgage every month, huh? Who will be much more lenient in their financing. Hmm. And if you find your... But presumably those would be a higher rate? ...self a mortgage broker, well, hey, they'll just search between hmm. two, three, five hundred different banks in Germany and find one that will actually finance you. So this is the number one tip that That's I can a good give tip. you. Find a mortgage broker. I might have to look into the American equivalent of that. We did find one, but unfortunately way too late. Now the prices are simply too high, no matter what, where we live. But if you're living somewhere in Germany where the prices are still somewhat affordable, <laughs> make sure to find a mortgage broker. I'll list a couple down in the description below. Check them out. I'm kind of intrigued by this sign behind him. <laughs> That's a completely random thing. I just can't help but mention it looks exactly like an American yield sign, but it's got no text in it. Here in America, nearly every street sign has text. Like, even though this would be a yield sign, it would say yield in it. To see a sign just blank, that's interesting. Um, I don't know. It's, it definitely says something to... You guys probably take the... Knowing your signs and everything, you, apparently you guys have some faith in each other that y'all do the the necessary learning to memorize the signs. Because I wouldn't trust my fellow Americans to know what a yield sign looked like. You know, I want it to say yield. I hope that this video was helpful for you, and if so, I wonder give what it a that like. is. Check out my. I'm gonna look up what that sign is. I, I I don't know how I managed to completely switch the topic of this video. I mean, it was interesting, everything he talked about, about the houses. I love all that stuff. But um, what is an upside down red triangle German sign? Is this going to work? 
Oh my gosh. What the heck? Guys, I have no idea what the street sign is. Oh, yield. Yield. It is a yield. Okay. Now I know. It just doesn't say it. How crazy. Um, damn. Bavaria is that expensive in the real estate markets, huh? But these houses are really nice. What if it was a nice little small house? That'd still be a million bucks? Damn. <laughs> It's like that here in America in some places, though, like Florida, California, especially. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.